Hey guys, it's Becky and today I'm going to be doing another book haul. This is going to be a bit of a different book haul because it's got a wide range of books as they were all gifts when I left my placement. I'm now starting my final year of uni so I'm in my brand new flat so it's got better lighting. They all got me a book and most of them wrote notes in it to say like goodbye when I left. So these are all really really different. Some of them are things that I never would have thought about buying for myself but I love them all the same. And some of them are books that I have heard of and I've always wanted to read, which is really nice. The first book I want to show you is Pugs and Prejudice. Uh, this is obviously a take on Pride and Prejudice with, with pugs instead of people. It's just a cute little picture book. Um, I'll show you some of the images inside. I don't know if you guys can see that properly with the light. But this was really cute because anyone who ever knows me knows that I love dogs as much as I love books. So having um, this classic tale reimagined with pugs instead makes it slightly better in my opinion. The next book I got was a Steve Jobs biography. This is a bit different but I do have already have quite a few uh, business people's biographies. So it is something that I probably would have read anyway. This is actually the book that my colleague read himself when he was trying to figure out what he wanted to do. You can kind of see where he's... Um, dog it the pages um, badly as well that's just um, ruined and this is just like a really sweet kind of gesture that he sent uh, he gave it to me because it was how he decided what he wanted to do when he um, left uni um, and he knew that I was struggling on deciding where I wanted to go and what I wanted to do. Uh, the next book I've got is A Good Time to Be a Girl by Helena Morrissey. Um, the person who gifted me this also suggests that I read uh, Lean In by Sheryl Sandberg, so I got both of them. And they're both very uh, women in working environment related. And it's something that me and my colleague both really thought was important because I was in a very male dominated industry. Uh, the next book I got was Egghead by Bo Burnham. This is for her poetry collection written by comedians and it's got lots of like funny illustrations in it. It's um, My colleague gave it to me because he thought it would be it's something nice to have on a day where you just need to smile which I thought was really cute. So yeah, this is one of those books that is going to be stuck with me this year as I write my dissertation, I think. Another book I got was Before I Go to Sleep by S.J. Watson. This is a um, thriller, I think. Me and uh, one of my really close friends, we both really like fantasy. And we were both talking about how we wanted to kind of expand outside of fantasy sometimes. So she suggested this book because it was the one book she's read recently which she's loved, even though it's not a fantasy book. Um, so I am excited to read this because I do quite like a good thriller and she did say it was a really interesting ending. So I am excited to see what happens. I've got like another women in work book, it's called Work It. The Secrets of Success from the Boldest Women in Business by Carrie Kirpin. I think that's how you pronounce her name. But it's just a little book, you can just see that there. I always love reading about like women who've got um, to a great place in their career because it's something I aspire to do. So I'm excited to read this and learn a little bit more alongside the other two books I have also got given. The next book I've got is A Thousand Splendid Sons by Khaled Hosseini. Hosseini? I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. But I got given this by the new intern who is taking my place because um, she said it was a book that's meant to be inspiring and she wanted to help inspire me in my final year as much as I've inspired her in the past um, few months to be good at her job which full on made me cry when I first read the note but um, I'm not fully sure what this is about Okay, so it's not a book that I would normally pick up, it just, it just seems to be very contemporary and literary fiction based, uh, rather than anything fantasy or thriller. It does sound really intriguing though, and I'm hoping it's as good as um, she said it would be. One of my favourite books that I got was this one, which is The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Fuck. Um, not because of what it is, but just because of the name of the book, which I thought was great. It's by Mark Manson, and it's kind of a self-help book about it's all about how um, instead of being positive all the time and trying so hard to be positive, you should actually sometimes try just not giving a fuck and facing the adversity you're facing head on and just taking care of stuff. 
which I thought was a really good way to work and that's how I always worked when I was working there. Um, so I think he bought me it because he knew that that's exactly what I would think <laughs> of it. I also got this nice book about her ancient Rome on five denarii a day. The reason why I got this is because it's one of the places that I would really love to go back to. I've already visited Rome before but it's just one of those places that can't really explore it in just a few days you have to go for a while to fully get the feeling of it and I thought this was quite a nice book to uh, to prepare me for that trip that I will hopefully go on soon. Similar to the first book I held up uh, I got this book because they know I love dogs. This is just a, like a photography book with loads of pictures of uh, dogs in funny positions and outfits like this one. Um, I will show you a few the stuff like this, uh, it's just a cute little kind of photography book with lots of different images in and yeah. So there's some dogs being models. Um, it's just one of those books that kind of brightens your day when you're feeling a bit down which I thought was really nice. The other book I got was The Beach by Alex Garland. My, like the big boss of our team gave me this. Uh, it was a really nice choice because he was going to get me a business book but instead he got me the beach because he thought we were both like the character he said we're both probably a little bit of Richard's laid back attitude in the both of us which I thought was uh, lovely even though I haven't read the book yet so I'm not sure what that means he also says it's better than the film which as soon as I haven't watched the film was not helpful to me at all but I am quite excited to read it because it seems like the kind of book that I would enjoy just for, by what he described it to me on the day that he gave it to me. I also got The Naked Shore of the North Sea by Tom Blass. I think I got this, I think he bought me this because I'm from the North um, and that's something that we've been taking the piss out of all year. So he's from Sunderland and I'm from Newcastle so we kind of had a little bit of a rivalry going on there. It's a small book but it's it, it sounds quite interesting and it's one that my aunt has already eyed up to borrow or steal. Um, the next book I got was The Little Prince by... I have no idea how to pronounce the author's name but um, this was given to my colleague and I thought it was really sweet because it is a classic book that I think must have made some kind of lasting impression on her. Um, so I'm quite excited to get around to reading this and understanding why she's bought it for me. I got this book from my boss, so this is probably going to make me cry a little bit. Um, but it's called The Giver by Lois Lowry and she wrote exactly why she got it for me inside. Uh, she got me this because it's a book about teaching, learning, friendship and about changing the world little by little. And she said she really loved it when she read it. So I'm hoping I love it as much as she does. I mean it's a gorgeous book but also it does seem to be something that means a lot to her that she gave it to me. And I also got um, this gorgeous edition of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. My colleague that gave it to me actually asked me if I'd read it a few weeks before I left and it never clicked with me <laughs> that he was asking because he was going to get me it. So actually like all of these books as presents were a complete surprise and he nearly completely ruined it but I didn't quite catch on. Um, I've never actually read The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy so I'm really excited to read this. Um, although it is a beautiful, beautiful edition. And I also didn't realise how big of a book it was so I'm hoping I will have time to read it in the next uh, year during uni. So overall I got really lucky with all the books I got. Um, a lot of them were books that I definitely would have picked up anyway. A lot of the business books were things that I'd already had on my list which I was really excited about. And um, things like uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy are books that uh, are classic books that I've just never read and never picked up so I'm really excited to read them. Uh, plus I got some books that were kind of more there for my self-help, uh, my mental health and to make me happy which I thought was really cute. If you've read any of these books please do let me know how you found them because a lot of them I've not heard of, uh, especially the literary fiction ones. Um, if you've been watching my channel all you'll know that I mainly read uh, fantasy books so this is something a little bit different for me. Um, and thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you again a lot sooner than from the last video I posted and this one. <laughs>